Good morning, Saxon family. How are you guys all doing today? I hope you're having a fantastic day. Got a smile on your face and you're ready for a brand new video. Welcome back to the daily vlog. If you're not yet subscribed and part of the family, do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications, never miss out on any videos I post here on my channel. Before we dive into today's video, there is something that I do want to talk about. In my last video, which got over 800 comments, a lot of you were saying my black eyes switch eyes. No, that is not true. My black eyes always been my right eye. But when I record on a software called OBS on my computer with my one camera, the camera actually gets flipped around like it's mirrored. I'm going to show you guys exactly what I mean in just a second. Also, real quick, I do have a brand new video coming out very soon on the Storyfire app. So do me a favor, go subscribe to me over on Storyfire. We're closing in, I think... 53,000 subscribers now, which is insane. So the links to that be down below in the comment section in the video description if you guys want to go check that out. But without further ado, let me show you exactly what I mean from before about how my webcam likes to, you know, flip things around. As you can see right now, I have OBS opened up, which is the program where I recorded the video where I talked about me getting assaulted. So I'm going to show you guys something right now. It's going to end up probably popping up on that screen, but you're going to end up seeing how the screen is just going to flip when I flip the vertical or the horizontal because this is how I normally have it. This is how I normally have my OBS opened up. Uh, so whenever I record a sit down video, this is where I'm sitting down, this is how I'm recording it. Everything is always going to be flipped unless I come into here and I flip horizontally and then boom. So as you can see, it's my right eye still, which is how I normally have it set up for when I'm live streaming over on my twitch.tv. My camera right now isn't currently flipped like a mirror would normally be. So this is exactly what I you would normally use for my live stream. So if anybody wants to fact check this, watch when I flip horizontally. This is how my live stream would normally look. This is how my camera is just always set up. So hopefully this could just prove all you people down below in the comment section wrong about how my camera is set up as a mirror when I end up going live over here on OBS. But let's just get right into the meat and potatoes of this video. Jake uploaded a brand new video today on his channel. I kind of skimmed through it, you know, but he and Sebastian were telling some lies and I, I want to kind of poke at it and tell you guys the truth. So without a further ado, let's jump right into Jake's video poking holes at the lie him and Sebastian were telling. I'm always at it, Jake. I'm not accusing. Hold on, let me let me just pause that. I'm not accusing him. I'm literally telling the fucking truth here, Jake. That your boy punched me in the face at Wawa. Okay, I'm looking forward to hear his side. And you gave me a black eye. Okay, so you're trying to say you're not going to let your friend tell his side of the story. You're going to tell his side of his story, which then allows you, Jake, to manipulate everything that actually happened that night. So you're going to take everything that Seb said and manipulate it to your own way. So... Guys, just sit back and relax and watch this. This is just going to be so painful due to the fact that I, I know how Jake is. I've told you guys several times, and you guys have probably noticed this. He likes to manipulate things, and that's what he's going to be doing here in this video. The fact that his friend came and tell the story fully himself, that Jake has to be the one. Uh, just li listen to Jake's excuse. Explaining himself. He's kind of scissors. Um, 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 and, um, 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 what happened? Oh, wait, 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 no, the next part, wait, wait, 
Oh, mm, uh, that's, that's how Sebastian, Sebastian tells stories. stories. Oh, yeah, and Jake, so you want to basically tell the story of something where you're not at. This is how rumors end up getting started, and the truth gets lost because now you're going to be telling your friend's story. Um, honestly, dude, it's better if you just let Seb tell the whole thing. This You're basically going to end up manipulating the whole entire situation. Uh, and when I am able to actually show cell phone footage of basically said punching me in the face it's going to prove everything they say in this video 100 percent on that their end to be false especially said so, so let, let me just, just try, try to summarize or paraphrase what, what he already, already told me, me. If, if i'm wrong, wrong at any point in time interrupt me and, and tell me like, like no, no and also this or like there's an important detail to that too but for my understanding what happened that night is said wasn't, wasn't tracking down. Okay, first, first of all, I didn't even watch Jeff's video. Yeah, yeah. Moral of the story is I never oh. caught this. Oh, <laughs> oh, wait. Why was there a cut there, Jake? You were going to go on to something, but nope, you just had a random cut right to Seb. <laughs> and you actually punched me, Seb, by the way. Like, you know what I'm saying? We gotta, we gotta, like, like, make it crazy and put, like, suspense to it. You're like, yeah, I had to punch him. Videos over later. <laughs> Seb didn't go track, track Jeff, Jeff down. down. I didn't watch Jeff's video. video. I don't know if he used Seb doing that. that. No, he happened to be at the same mall as me. It made it seem as if, like, Seb, like, tracked him down and, like, jumped, jumped him in the middle of a wall. wall. There you guys go. Once again, Jake trying to manipulate everything. You guys go back and watch my video after this video. Not once did I say Seb tracked me down. I said I ran into Seb at the Wawa. And then, you know, next thing you know, things got a little heated. I tried calming him down, and I got punched in the eye. Point case closed. And here's Jake, like I said, going to try manipulating the story. And unfortunately, all the Duffies out there are going to believe Jake on this because he's our leader. He's our... Listen, go to, go to my video and come to Jake's video, and you, you'll see the clear point right here that he's trying to manipulate the situation. Oh, I'll punch him in the face. It's your understanding, Jake. Now, Seb confronts him, they start arguing, and not Seb wasn't sitting there trying to fight him. That's the reality. Seb was sitting there trying to fight him. 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 Seb was sitting there so you confront let, let's say let's say this your side of the story is true you confront somebody because they give you a nasty look that's not a reason to confront somebody literally 100 percent not a reason to confront somebody but here we go with jake and seb trying to stretch the truth and tell some lies and make them me look out to be the bad guy. Like, I, I'll admit it 100%. I've messed up before in the past. I'll admit that, plain and day. But here we go. After I got physically assaulted by Sebastian, Jake Duffner's roommate and friend, Seb is literally going to be sitting right here spreading false accusations, saying I gave him a nasty look and that's why he confronted me. I literally said hello to the kid and then I got a black eye. So... Good looking, okay. Five or we're only like six minutes total into this video. Not once did I lay my hands on Seb. I'm gonna I'm gonna just straight up say that. I tried calming Seb down. Not once did I push him, shove him, or attempt to take a swing at him. The whole entire time, Seb was the heated one. I was trying to calm him down, and next thing you know, I got a black eye because he punched me in the face and ran away. And here we go. Like I've been saying the whole entire time, Jake trying to explain Seb's story, which allows Jake to manipulate the whole entire situation. Ridiculous. Well,
Never yeah, thrown, Jake? Like, like, like a punch, punch just, just was made, made up in his mouth there. I don't know, I guess he did it because he's like, yo, that's a good clickbait for me. Alright, well, I got cell phone footage, Jake, so don't make me leak this shit, because I will. Uh, Jake, I comprehend real life stuff, man. I think Oh, wait a minute. I was in the wrong. There's another lie. I've admitted the past like a week that I've been in the wrong. A lot of this is my fault. 100% the blame is on me. And now here's Seb starting to spread lies. I hope you guys are able to see through them right now. I hope you guys can actually genuinely see the lies and the manipulation they're trying to spread. And unfortunately, so many people are going to believe them, which is just complete bullshit. Like, I I've admitted it. And I keep admitting it, I've been at fault, 100%. I've screwed up, I've made mistakes, we all screw up, we all make mistakes. But here they are, literally manipulating the situation at its finest. It's all so are, you guys, are you guys starting to see the holes literally with Seb talking? This is why he would let Jake do all the talking so Jake can manipulate the situation. I'm just going to keep saying that. Uh, literally said that night I went out to go celebrate a Stanley Cup victory for a hockey team. It was a night just to go out with a friend of mine. And next thing you know, you know what? So let, let me just say this. I only had two drinks that night. Okay? I had one Jack and Ginger and I had one Bud Light. Two completely separate drinks, but that is not enough to get me drunk. And first off, yes, you're right. I am a firefighter, and I love what I do. I love helping people. I don't consider myself an inspiration, but I know there's people out there that look up to me and respect me, and I always try to do my best for them. I have people in a community that I always try to protect and serve. I mean, I literally have gotten burned on my face for putting out somebody's vehicle that was on fire. Yet again, to my own stupidity, because I've got to fully clip a regulator in, but I've literally got burned fighting fires before trying to help somebody. So here they are just, I, I don't know how many times I have to say it. They are literally manipulating every little detail. And unfortunately, people are going to believe them. I, I just, I don't understand it at all. The punch never happened, Jake. Look in my eye. Jake, you weren't even there, so how do you even know? You're going off about of what Seb said. You're not going to instantly get a black eye as soon as you get punched, okay? You should know this. You did boxing for what how many years all right you literally were a boxer you know black eyes don't happen simu or instantaneously as soon as you get punched i mean look at ufc fighters boxers etc you should know this jake that's common knowledge you don't get a black eye instantly as soon as you get punched dude like you are literally oh God, dumb as a rock <laughs> Yeah, okay, Sam. So. He literally punched me and then ran away. Are you guys noticing this? It's mainly Jake talking. I don't, I don't know if you guys noticed this yet. I tell you right now, if I punch that kid, I have, no, I can't even say hatred for him. I just, I just don't like the way that he, he, he tries to say he's a grown up, but then when something doesn't go his way, he wants to, to stoop down. To, to your level? level. Some like, souping down to your level, kid. Like, oh, gosh. Gosh, if I punch this kid, I would not stop. You literally punched me and ran away, Seb, because you were afraid that I was going to hit you. You literally punched me and then you ran away.
I got the footage, Seb. If this video, I'm going to say 2,000 likes, I will release the footage. I will literally make a vlog, and I'm going to break down the footage of the whole entire thing. But this video needs to get 2,000 likes first. And I'll just, it'll prove my innocence and it'll prove to you guys that you should not be subbed to Jake Duffner. You shouldn't be supporting him or his friends at all that are clearly lying and trying to manipulate this whole entire situation. Honestly, Honestly when, when it comes, comes to family, family especially, especially every, everybody, everybody that, that knows me knows, knows that, that I stand, stand for three things. things. God, God, family, family. I respect the family and I respect God. I respect I respect those two things you said. Put everything aside right now. I respect those two of the three. I'm serious though, like family. So when it came to messing with stuff like that, and I now live here, that's my property as well. Exactly. Except the car is not your property, dude. Who gives a fuck about any videos that we filmed? This, that. The Bible story. Yes, there was an obligation. I, I didn't film it for content. content. I, was I wasn't sitting there like, like yeah, yeah, I'll make content, content out of this. Seth didn't even tell me. That's, that's how, how Listen. Listen here, Jake. I didn't film it. My friend had to just get a video on his phone as he knows and uh, as the altercation was taking place. Didn't think about making content of that. I wasn't going to release the footage. But now that you guys are literally manipulating the situation, I'm going to end up releasing the footage at some point just to prove you guys wrong. Look at these liars, man. Tell everybody that you did. I don't know what you just said there. Literally. The video we figured out about your car. When I came in and told you that your car was spray painted or whatever, and I said it, that video, I was like, if this was Jeff, I'm going to punch him. Oh. And he literally punched me. That's all the proof you need to know is that he fabricates his content and that he's going to manipulate everybody watching it to bring other people down. I'm, I don't even know, know, know what to say anymore. Funny. So trial and error fabricating stories and stuff to manipulate little kids, aka the Duffy. So you literally you just admitted that you've lied to your fans and you manipulated them to have them subscribe to you, Jake. Way to go. Do that again. Yeah, I want to stay, stay away from scripted or, or, or fake, fake videos, videos, if you, if you will, will, fake. fake. I want to stay, stay away from, from that as, as, as far, far as possible. I never want to do that again because... If only guys know what videos of his are fake. Oof. I have some dirt on this guy. If you guys want it. Being transparent and talking to the camera and making you guys feel like you're my friend and I'm not lying to you, that is the number one key to success on YouTube. And I realized that and... You know, no, Jake, you know the number one key success to, to anything here on YouTube, and it's widely known by a lot of YouTubers and it's been publicly known, is kids. Kids. People have literally want to know the number one secret how to grow on YouTube. It's kids. People have made videos saying it's kids. And you know this because you're able to manipulate kids, Jake, because they look up to you. And here you are once again trying to manipulate them. Okay, I switched back to my G7X instead of the OBS and that camera set up right there. But hopefully you guys can see through Jake and Seb's lies and manipulation in this video that Seb punched Jeff in the face. First off, I want to say these three things. A, Seb's 100% lying. B, Jake likes to take over a video where Seb was the one that assaulted me, but Jake is the one saying how it all went down. So you can see where Jake's able to manipulate the whole entire situation. And three, well, it's Jake. 
he's going to do whatever he can to just try hurting somebody else and try to bring them down. So that's going to wrap it up for today's video. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. Until next time, it's been your boy, Jeff, keeping it real as I knock my scanner down. I'm going to log out. I'm going to peace out. Remember, you guys can do anything. Remember to stay positive and, well, peace.